Ladies and gentlemen, can I please introduce your sports president, James Reid. Vice Dean, Head of Department, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It is my great pleasure to welcome you all to the 2014 PWC Sports Awards Ball. First of all, I would like to thank Christ Waterhouse Coopers, our sponsors, for making this night possible. Without their support, we wouldn't be able to put on such a fantastic event for you all. And secondly, our home for this evening, the Radisson, especially Sinead Dowling, for all of the help she has given us for organizing the event tonight. One of the main pieces of advice that my predecessor Colin gave me regarding sports ball was to write my speech early, as there are a number of roles which absorb your time during the week. Yet there I was at 8 p.m. last night writing what I was planning on saying tonight. I guess you'll never learn. It's a lot harder than I first thought with all the highlights that we've had over the past semester at Strathclyde. I'd be here all night if I were to list them all, but I wouldn't want to ramble on for too long. I'm sure Neil has plenty to say after me. The sports ball is renowned for being the premier social of the university sporting calendar. And the anticipation for this year's edition has been high ever since the success of last year's event. Tonight marks the one time where we celebrate the sporting successes from the previous year. The talent we have at this university is staggering and it's an honor to represent you all. In Glasgow's Commonwealth year, it is fitting that it is former Strathclyde alumni who have excelled on the Commonwealth stage who make up the class of 2014 in our Hall of Fame. And it's an honor to have Sandra Dickey here tonight. Fingers crossed we can have some more success from Strathclyde students and alumni come July this year. On top of this, tonight's awards winners list is as illustrious as ever. And it's fantastic to see so many of them here tonight to join in the celebrations. Although tonight is a tribute to the sporting achievements of Strathclyde students during 2012-2013, the real lifeblood of the sports union are its volunteers and committee members who work tirelessly behind the scenes to develop their club and provide the best experience possible to our ever-increasing membership, which has passed 2,000 members for the first time. The blood, sweat and tears which go into all aspects of student sport at the university is absolutely inspirational. And for that, our 300-odd volunteers all deserve a great round of applause. This academic year has also been littered with high sporting achievement. Pistol shooter Jess Lydon was selected to represent Team GB at the World University Games in Kazan last summer. Snowboarder Jennifer Osborne was also representing Strathclyde on the international scene. She was part of a five-person team in Trentino for the World University Winter Games in the Snowboard Cross event in December. Moving on to team sport, our sailing team finished sixth in the Student Yachting World Cup. Congratulations. Congratulations have to go to Theo Hull and the rest of the team for their performance at the competition. The team also finished in the top three in the party rankings, which was based on the number of beers that they drank at the competition afterwards. As sports union president, I don't know which makes me more proud. Our men's volleyball team are amongst the highest performing teams at the university. And whilst many of us will be nursing sore heads tomorrow afternoon, they will be competing against Edinburgh Uni for a chance to win the Bucks 1A League for the first time in 34 years. So best of luck to all of the boys. There have been moments from this year that I'm never going to forget. There is no better feeling than watching a last minute winner hit the back of the net from our men's football ones against Cali ones. Right in front of their sports president. Don't worry, Monica, I'll try not to mention it too many more times. 
2013 has also seen new sports teams established within the sports union. Jess Lydon has been instrumental in establishing a new shooting club, and it's brilliant to see one of our elite athletes putting such a sizable contribution towards the de development of one of our new teams. This year also saw the establishment of our lacrosse team, which has come on leaps and bounds since being founded early last year. Mark Ravey and his committee deserve to be commended on their efforts to continue to grow the club. Table tennis, a sport which has been off the agenda at Strathclyde for a number of years, also saw a resurrection with the newly founded team winning their Bucks League within months of being re-established, which is quite a statement. In the world of university sport, there's no such thing as a normal day in the office. However, this summer, this summer was something special with our full office refurbishment and three new members of staff joining the team. It also saw the implementation of our performance coaching investment strategy. The five PCIS clubs have all adapted admirably to the changing culture and have fully embraced the strategy. There are big things to come from all of those clubs and it is another example of Strathclyde moving into the modern era of sport. But I don't want to go on for too long. We have a great night ahead of us and I'm sure you're all choking to get onto the dance floor. But I have a few thank yous to make to a few people who have been huge to the sports union executive and I. First of all, Leanne Carnan. Leanne is the sports union. Your knowledge of the ins and outs of the sports union is quite simply incredible. And without you, we'd certainly be running around like headless chickens in the office, not knowing what to do. She's also often the voice of reason, and I will always appreciate the advice and the support that you've given me so far over the year. Next up, Fraser Mickey. Moving into the development role a mere four months ago, Fraser has been a brilliant addition to the team. Your structured and organized approach to work has been a catalyst behind the continued growth of the sports union, despite only having worked in de sports development for only two years. Although I've only known you a matter of months, I consider you one of my closest friends. Thank you for all your support this year. Ross Brand. Ross has come into an entirely new role and made it his own this year. The task of delivering a pilot year in PCIS is not easy, and you have to take a lot of credit for its early success so far. Each week you're coming up with new, innovative ideas on how to improve our sporting performance. Thank you very much for all of your support so far this year. Alicia Green. Alicia is one of the most organized members of staff in the sports union. Your great personality and always positive attitude makes the sports union a great place to work every time I come into the office. Whether it's banter or if you're critiquing my dress sense, there's always a laugh to be had. All joking aside, your help and support has been huge. Thank you very much. Neil Sturrock. <laughs> I found Neil to very much be a mentor this year. Your knowledge, experience, and expertise has been priceless. I wish the whole sports union could see the time and effort in which you dedicate towards sports union matters. Whilst I'm sure my face will be turning a healthy shade of maroon during your speech in a few minutes, I would like to say a huge thank you to you. Your advice helped make what could have been a manic summer period almost seamless, and you're an invaluable asset to the sports union. Shona Aitken, our honorary treasurer, provides great experience and insight, in particular regarding financial issues. The long-term sustainability of the sports union is as secure as ever with her involvement, and it's a shame she cannot be here tonight. It would also be right and proper to give a shout out to the other presidents from the Scottish institutions who are here tonight. Thank you very much for coming. It's an honor to share this experience with you and the relationship we have reflects the dynamism of Triple S and shows why we're one step ahead of our Bucks counterparts. Finally, a huge thank you to all of my executive committee. 
who have been working tirelessly behind the scenes to make tonight happen. I've loved getting to know you all, and I can't wait to move from strength to strength in semester two. In particular, the Stornoway Stallion, Alistair Gillies, my vice president, deserves the majority of the credit for tonight taking place. Please give a round of applause for him and the rest of the 2013-2014 Sports Union Executive. And finally, just once again, I'd like to show our appreciation to PwC for being our sponsors tonight and helping us put on such a great event. So that's it from me. I would now like to pass on to Neil Sturrock, the head of Sport, Sport and Recreation. Have a huge night, everybody. Keep bleeding maroon. <laughs>